This One Degree Outside video is sponsored by the Topps Field Fair, America's oldest fair. You can pre-order your admission, meal, and ride tickets today at topsfieldfair.org and join the fun October 4th through 14th, conveniently located on Route 1, just off of Interstate 95. Tuesday morning, Matt Noyce, great to be with you on One Degree Outside today, gearing you up for the next 24 hours, getting you out the door this morning, but Noyce's notes is kind of just the big themes of the forecast overall. There's a little milestone today that's kind of a dubious milestone, but we do slip below 12 hours of daylight, so after today is a little bit more darkness than there is light in the day, at least until St. Patrick's Day. The northern jet stream disturbances that are coming at us do raise the chance of showers. Centered on Thursday, there's a spritz today, there's a sprinkle tomorrow, maybe a shower western New England, but then Thursday, most of us get the shower and you improve again Friday into the weekend. And actually, the reason we think you're going to improve for the weekend is because that tropical storm headed for the Gulf Coast likely is never going to get up this way, at least not for several days. It'll be kind of like that storm Francine a while back, which stalled out and took forever to get out of the southern United States. Same type of thing going to happen. More on that in the insights. You'll see it posted already at OneDegreeOutside.com, and then there's another one coming up later on this morning. All right, meanwhile, school day feels like forecast. It feels a little cool hoodie, maybe the zip-up sweatshirt, something like that, and then you get on through the rest of the day, and it feels like the 60s. So that means, yeah, it could be a short sleeves day underneath that hoodie. Anyway, by the way, you want to grab a hoodie, a long sleeve, a short sleeve, a baseball cap, something like that uh, for yourself, for the kids. One degree outside stuff. Go to swag.onedegreeoutside.com. And that's because of your suggestion. So many of you said, you got to start that. So we did. It's neat. Thanks. All right, here's what's going on. We're talking about temperatures today running the mid-60s at the coast. you got a wind still off the ocean out of the northeast. Not as nippy as it's been over the past few days. The farther west that you go, we do get up near 70 degrees in the Berkshires. We do the same thing in a lot of Vermont, away from the ocean influence, while the New Hampshire seacoast is a wee bit cooler. Much like yesterday, you've got more clouds than sun, but breaks of sun, a sprinkle from time to time. And much like yesterday, northern New England is quieter and better. St. Albans, Vermont, Burlington, Vermont, getting up to about 70. Virgins, right there with you. You're in the 60s to near 70 for a lot of the rest of us, which includes up in northern Maine, for that matter. We'll likely be closing in on 70 degrees, and this is the source of the cool air over the Canadian uh, provinces, but at the same time, it's nice weather overall. All right, overnight tonight, expect to find a lot of clouds, maybe a spritz of rain here and there again. There are the showers starting to come into Vermont. That's why I say northern, western New England's got an increased chance of showers heading into tomorrow, but then all of us get that increased chance by Thursday. Download the app, Noises One Degree Outside Weather. You'll be able to get all the details you need. In the meantime, we'll look forward to seeing you with an insights video coming up later this morning. Again, always at OneDegreeOutside.com. Noises One Degree Outside Weather app. And we try and put it all out on the social media handles as well. The number one degree outside. See you in just a little while.